Welcome to this lesson on factorizing quadratic trinomials and at the end of the working out I will have a set of factors in those brackets and the method that I'm going to show you to find those factors is the cross sticks method and so there are my cross sticks and on this end I put the factors of x squared so what times what equals x squared that's going to be x times x and on this end here I'm going to put the factors of the number at the end or the constant term in this case the number 6 so I could have 1 and 6 or 2 and 3 and then the method is you just multiply along these lines so 6 times x is 6x 1 times x is x and that's positive so that's plus and 6x plus x equals 7x now that's not the middle term so these two numbers are not the factors that will give us the middle term in here so trying the other factors uh, of 6 3 times x is 3x and then 2 times x is 2x and then 3x plus 2x equals 5x which is the middle term and so that means that's one bracket there so that's x and that's positive 2 so that's x plus 2 and the other bracket is this one here and that's x plus 3 and that's your basic method gets a bit trickier when you have minus signs and when you have a constant or a coefficient in front of x squared that's a number other than 1 and once again I'm going to set my brackets up first and a good rule when you're factorizing anything is always look for a common factor first there's no common factor that can be taken out here so I'm going to set up my cross sticks and the factors of 6x squared so it's definitely going to be x and x and here I could have 6 and 1 or 2 and 3 so I don't know which pair of those numbers it's going to be and on the other end here the factors of minus 3 are going to be minus 1 times 3 or 3 times minus 1 and this could be plus 1 and minus 3 and vice versa here but mine, one of these has to be a negative so that when you multiply those two numbers you do end up with minus 3 and doing the same thing as in the last example multiplying along the lines and I'm going to start with the 2 and the 3 3 times 2x is 6x and minus 1 times 3x is minus 3x 6x minus 3x is 3x which is not the middle term so it's not that pair of factors with 2x and 3x so I'm going to try these two numbers and uh, just before I do that I'll swap the signs here and make that a plus and that a minus and show you what happens when you do that so minus 3 times 2x is minus 6x and then 1 times 3x is plus 3x and then minus 6x plus 3x equals minus 3x so all that swapping the signs does using the same pairs of numbers it just reverses the sign on the answer that you get here so if you don't get the right number to start with there's no point changing the signs here to see if you, you get it the second time around because you'll only get a, a different sign in front of the same number when you do that so what that means is that neither of those combinations of plus and minus here with those two will give us the sign the term in the middle here so I'm now going to try this pair of numbers here and see what happens so 3 times 3x is 9x minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x and when you work that out you get 7x so I've got the right number here but I've just got the wrong sign so what that means is that if I change that to a minus and change that to a plus I'm going to get the right sign on this term when I work it out so to show you that minus 3 times 3x is minus 9x and then plus 1 times 2x is plus 2x and then that equals minus 7x which is the middle term so that means that's one bracket there I'm going to cross them out because they were no good and so that's one bracket up there 2x minus 3 and the other bracket here is 3x and plus 1 and there it is it's factorized